Hey guys, this is Dr. Chetan and I'm going to explain to you about the various stages of inflammation of gums. The, basically, these are divided into two, that is the gingivitis and the periodontitis. The first slide that I'm going to show you is the normal gingiva and the normal tooth. Where there are healthy gums, this is the gum area. This is called the gum crevice, which is a pretty healthy area here. And this is the normal tooth structure, that's the tooth root the enamel on the topmost layer and these are the attachment fibers which you usually gets loosened up when the gum disease isn't treated on time and it gets progressed. So in the healthy gums the teeth are firmly attached to the gums and the crevice is not deeper than 2 to 3 mm. So this is the crevice that is calculated here and this usually is not more than 2 to 3 mm when the gums are healthy. And this gum crevice depth is the clear indicator of the gum health. And this is usually you tested out by using the periodontal probe. This is the device and this is the instrument which usually has these traditions to let us know how deep the gum crevice is and how healthy the gums are. So this is the normal gingiva and now let's go to the first stage of the gum inflammation that is the gingivitis. The gingivitis is the condition where the gum crevice levels gets down because of the plaque accumulation, accumulation near the gum tissue and usually in the junction of the tooth and the gums. As the plaque accumulate, accumulates, you may notice an inflammation of the gums, which is also which is called as gingivitis. And this is very reversible and you can treat it properly and a regular brushing of the tooth in a proper way along with flossing and a proper uh, oral prophylaxis would be enough to reverse this condition of gingivitis. And during this condition, as you notice, th there is a red color here and this is called the inflammation where the inflamed gum gums appear red and uh, this would also lead to bleeding whenever you are brushing and uh, when the dentist would probe, use the probe to test out the gingivitis. So this was the gingivitis. This is the first layer of, th this is the first stage of the gum, gum inflammation. So the second stage is the early periodontitis. Periodontitis is completely different from the gingivitis where there is an involvement of the attachment fibers. These are the attachment fibers as we had shown earlier. So from this stage, the attachment loss happens. And as you can notice here, the crevice gets deeper and the gum crevice is three to four mm deep. As you can compare in between these two, this is the area where the gum crevice is located and here it has got deepened to this layer. So it is around 3 to 4 mm in the early periodontitis stage. And so from here the uh, supporting bone structure is now at the risk of bone and also the bone loss can occur. This is the alveolar bone that is uh, just around the tooth. So from this layer and from this uh, stage the bone loss can occur. And this is not a reversible stage unlike the gingivitis. And here you need to visit the dentist regularly to get it treated and checked. And uh, based on this condition, you can you will have to get the treatment done. And the uh, normal scaling would not be helpful in treating the condition totally. You will have to go to a deep deeper scaling where all the accumulated food particle food material which was converted into plaque and then calculus has to be removed. So this was early periodontitis, and this is the second stage of the gum inflammation. Now going to the next stage, that is the moderate periodontitis. The, the moderate periodontitis is where the gum crevice gets still deeper and this is where you can observe something called as a periodontal pocket. The pockets are around 5 to 6 mm deep and this is a very serious condition where uh, uh, most of the tooth attachment is lost and the tooth also starts moving by itself. So there is tooth movement here, there is attachment loss and also the bone loss starts occurring from this stage and you need to take your uh, take the advice from the dentist properly and have to go regularly to get the treatment done for this and apart from the red and swollen gums you will also see the exposed root area here and this exposing is due to the accumulation of the food and also due to the lowering of the gum from the normal position the gum usually becomes loosened and you will also see something called as the gingival recession where the gum usually goes down and that is where the gum crevice becomes shallower to around 5 to 6 mm here. So this was the moderate periodontitis which is the 
third stage of gum inflammation and the final stage is the advanced periodontitis and in this stage you will have no option of uh, scaling or the deep scaling or the root planing procedure because here you will have to go for something more advanced because it is our, it is more than 7 plus mm of pocket located here entire gum tissue goes down and apart from the gum tissue going down there is a loss of alveolar bone as you notice here and you can appreciate that pretty well here because when you take a look at the early periodontitis there is some part of bone still left here but that has got reduced to this layer in the moderate periodontitis and in the advanced one there is a complete loss of bone here and mainly because of the bone there is no support for the periodontal fibers to attach and thus there is no attachment of the tooth to the alveolar bone and thus the tooth would be easily mobile that's called the moving tooth and in this condition there is also bad breath that is the hal halitosis seen when uh, the patient and the, when the gums are in advanced periodontitis stage and this is the stage where there is a high risk of a tooth being lost and uh, here you can't go with the normal uh, treatment procedures because there also you will have to go with something called as the flap surgery where the gum tissues are lifted and there the bone material is placed for the newer bone to be formed here for the normal support and attachment of the tooth to the gums uh, to the uh, bone sorry so this is the advanced periodontal stage which is the fourth one so we'll revise it once again so this was the normal stage of the gum gum health everything is normal the bone bone is still the top and there's just around 2 to 3 mm of the gum device and from there is the gingivitis where there's a reddishness of the tissues and uh, it is uh, more than 2 to 3 mm of the gum device here but uh, still you won't see any bone loss or any uh, connectivity loss between the bone and the tooth through the attachment fibers from there you'll go to the early periodontitis where there's a moderate or slight loss of uh, the bone here and thus and there is some attachment loss through the periodontal fibers after that is the moderate periodontitis where there is appreciable bone loss and this would be seen in the x-rays and there is a deposition of the food metal that is easily seen and around 5 to 6 mm of periodontal pocket is noticed and the tooth, is, a tooth would become slightly mobile and this is the advanced periodontitis where there is a lot of bone loss a lot of, a lot of uh, loss of connectivity between the bone and the tooth and finally you will see a lot of uh, bad breath also which is the halitosis and there is a periodontal pocket of around 7 plus mm so this was advanced periodontitis so these were all the different stages of the gum inflammation do check out the channel for the various other videos and various other tips and tutorials for your good oral hygiene do subscribe to the channel thank you